We're here at Roseman High School, September 29th, and we're looking at the site of the new cafeteria. I believe the price tag is $4 million. We're going to have a ribbon cutting today. Morning, Barbara. Happy day. Uh, Good morning, John. This is a very happy day for us in Southern Kern, that's for sure, and for especially our students and community. Um, the cafeteria's been a, a long time coming and uh, a much needed building. Uh, we didn't really realize, at least I didn't really realize, how critical this building was to the campus uh -huh. until COVID hit. Uh -huh. And then when we had to to distance students, we realized that the cafeteria, the current ca cafeteria, could only hold 14 students at a time if we distanced <laughs> them. Yeah. So we knew we had a problem. And, uh, so we're, this is like uh, a dream come true for me uh -huh. to be able to see them out there and sure. moving dirt. It's it's a great. It's going to be a beautiful building. Um, I wish I could, my words could give it justice, but it's it's not only going to have the inside multi-purpose room, but it's gonna have an outside area that's covered with uh, tables uh, for the students to sit on when they, if they wanna eat outside. Oh, how nice. And the, the actual um, kitchen is going to be state of the art. Uh -huh. with all the latest for our, uh, for our child nutrition employees. Sure. And, and then, of course, it's also going to have another area that's going to have astroturf or turf. Oh, really? For the kids to be able to just sit and, and uh, you know, enjoy their colleagues, their classmates uh, <laughs> at lunchtime. So uh -huh. we're, we're very, very, very excited. It's, uh, it's, it's going to be a definite plus for this campus. Well, that's good. Now, you in your district have not just one building project going on. You have about four building <laughs> projects going on. Oh, must you mention that? <laughs> yes, we do. We we have a lot. Of, we have a, obviously, as you, you are aware, John, we have a huge project going on at Tropico Middle School. We yes. have uh, seven new buildings, uh, 28 new classrooms, uh, a new track going in. We had, uh, the just recently uh, updated all the basketball courts and a new volleyball court there. Um, and that, that project is well underway as uh -huh. you've been out there lately. You can see there are actually some of the buildings are, uh, are, are on, uh, have been set on the property already. Mm -hmm. We just received um, notice this past week, John, that uh, we were awarded 11 million dollars to add new buildings to West Park. Oh wow. Elementary. So that's another project we have not even began to oh. actually plan that. That'll that'll kick off really really soon. Uh-huh. And we're we're um we have some money to to uh, modernize the old Roseman Elementary campus, yeah. but we're sort of in a quagmire with that, John, because the money that we were awarded is not enough to complete the project. So the board is going to have to make a, a real uh, significant decision on what to do. What to do, do we, with it? Do we I move see. Forward or do we? Sure. Do we not with that, but but uh, we'll see. Uh, they're gonna. It's going to be an informational item on the next board agenda uh -huh. uh, for them to discuss, uh -huh. and then it'll be brought back the following board meeting for them to make a decision. Uh -huh. Do we try to uh, somehow add the extra monies that are needed? And uh -huh. it's a signif significant amount. Sure, sure. Uh, you know, cost of construction now is <laughs> unbelievable. It's like um, going up from week to week, if you can imagine. <coughs> so, uh, but uh, yeah, we we have a lot of uh, construction. Going on. Well, good fortune when, since you've become superintendent. All of a sudden, these things have followed you over to Roseman, which, oh, gosh. which is uh, wonderful. <laughs> I think you're giving me way too much credit for that. Uh, we, you know, uh, and uh, the student body is up. 
student body is up. We were, as of last Friday, we, we were at 3,707 wow. students. Wow. We ended the school year on June 5th at about 3,500. 50 something so we're up probably close to 150 students uh -huh. so that's that's concern that's, that's a, a concern <laughs> too uh, I'm, I, I'm anxious to see I get the numbers every Friday so I'm anxious I haven't gotten them yet today but I'm anxious to see if we're holding that or if that 3707 is up even uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, yeah. And all the teaching positions are filled now. Uh, we kind have, of. We have uh, a couple of uh, spots that are open here on this campus. We believe we may have filled one of them, oh. and we, you know, we're doing. We have uh, our um, uh, billboards coming into the Antelope Valley. We have uh, our videos and movie theaters where we advertise for these teachers all the time attend attend uh, job fairs but you know it's it's much better than what where we were this time last year uh -huh. much well, better well that's good yes so well congratulations on the new building and uh, thanks for <laughs> persevering to see it through and oh. everything I, I yeah. can't wait till one day we're cutting the ribbon for this building <laughs> Thank you, John. You're welcome. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. If I could ask you to uh, please take a seat and comfortable. Um, first of all, I want to say welcome. I know that it's warming up a little bit, so I think it's time for us to get started. I can't say enough about what this project means to Southern Kern Unified School District. Sometimes you don't realize the... Um, impact until something grave happens like um, COVID-19. I remember asking Raleigh during COVID when I was trying to follow the California Department of Public Health guidelines in spacing our students. It was, it was pretty extensive. We had to space them so many feet apart in the cafeteria on both sides. So I, I asked Raleigh, he's sort of the guy I asked to do everything around here. I, I just found out he just knows a lot. And uh, so I rely on him probably more than I should 24 seven. But I said, Raleigh, go to the cafeteria at the high school, because that was my concern, and see how many students we can put in the cafeteria, because at that time there were two lunches and there were 800 some students here. Today we're, we're over 920. So uh, when he came back, he said, well, I don't think you're going to understand or you're going to like what I'm going to tell you. But he said, if we space the students as mandated by the California Department of Public Health, you can have 14 kids in that cafeteria at one time. I was like, oh my gosh, how many lunches then did we have that? Kids would show up at 7.30 and start with lunch to, to get everybody fed during the day. So I knew that this project, in my opinion, was one of the most needed projects in Southern Kern. And I can't tell you pers on a personal note, I am so thrilled to see whatever they're doing out there. I don't really know all the ins and outs of construction, but it looks good to me. So. Um, this is uh, this is a dream come true, to say it mildly. Um, again, I want to thank you all for being here. I'm going to start by saying that this building is what they call. I am learning. I am learning a lot about construction the hard way. I guess is a stick built. For those of you who don't know what a stick built is, that means we're starting from the ground up and it's all going to be. Uh, built to code and all those great things. But we modeled this, we went on a trip to San Diego with the board. We happened to be down there for the California School Boards Association and Mr. Jaime Ortiz, who is the uh, our project manager, said, I wanna show you some cafeterias. And also uh, Mr. Scott Godmier from, uh, from Blue Ellen and Moody, architects were, were was there with us and I'll introduce both of them in a little bit. And 
we saw some amazing cafeterias in San Diego. They were all phenomenal. But we really, really fell in love with the one at a school named D is a Dog 39. Unique name for a school, but it is amazing. And so we patterned this design uh, after that school. And I just can't tell you, I, 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 I just can't tell you how beautiful this is going to be and how, how much our kids are gonna love it when it's finished. So um, I don't wanna rattle on too much. At this time, I'd like to call on our president of the board, Mr. Bob Mitzelat. Welcome to our groundbreaking ceremony. I'm Suresh, witnessing the construction of the area, but I'm fortunate to be part of this uh, piece of history in the making. So I appreciate the opportunity and the experience. I, I will uh, reiterate the need for the new cafeteria is long overdue. With over 900 kids, between 900 and 1,000, uh, there is a need if for a new cafeteria. We definitely want to keep up with the rest of the modern world. And uh, two lunches we have right now, and it takes quite a while for the kids to go in and out, averaging about 450 kids for each lunch. So that is um, that is going to be a huge improvement. Anyway, uh, I welcome everyone to the rest of the ceremony. And we thank you very much. Uh, as a little kid, I loved those tractors, and I would do anything to jump on one of them and drive it around. Uh, we'll see after hours. But uh, we have been able to keep the area secured. We planned well. Thank you all for helping me uh, anticipate what we are about what we were about to get into. So we planned a new evacuation route. We got the area fenced off. We pretty much walk the field, walk the area every morning to see what's going on. And now we have uh, weekly meetings coming up, so I look forward to getting updates so I can also inform uh, staff, students, and the parents as needed. So good morning to everybody. Thank you, and I'd like to invite Mrs. Gaines back to the podium. I'd like to take a moment. There are uh, a group of people that are really responsible for making sure this project uh, was designed well and, and right down to the final day that we cut the ribbon. And first of all, I'd like to introduce, and if you want to come up and say a couple of words, please feel free. And if you, if you don't feel like saying anything, just kind of wave me off. That's up to you. Uh, our project manager, um, high performance learning environments, Mr. Uh, Jaime Ortiz. Jaime's waving me off. Okay. And Topeka, who is also one of our project managers, she is not here this morning. And is Rodrigo here? 
Rodrigo is here. Okay, Rodrigo. Thank you. And I also want to introduce from HPLE our project engineer, Mr. Philip Amperez. He's great. You guys are just not very talkative. All right, uh, our architect um, team is here today, and I, I feel so really excited because we really got the big boss out today. Matt Buchanan is not with us this morning, but uh, I'd like to introduce uh, Mr. Scott Godnier. You know, we're gonna kind of have to spur you in as a, a new architect because you're learning all the new lingo now. <laughs> And you don't know this, but I'm actually the president of the AIA California, so I have the ability to give you that blessing <laughs> because you've been working so hard at this. Now, you also get the liability with it, so don't worry. <laughs> but I've had the privilege of working in this district since 1984. Um, somebody may remember somebody by the name of Dr. Shear. Yes, but yeah. <laughs> When I was just a wee pup, he invited me in, and to watch the, the, the way you and your board have started this major vision of building for the future is just, it's heartwarming, it's fun, I hope it's fun. It is. And yeah. because it is fun, we're going to make sure you get on one of those big tractors and push it around. Oh. So, but it it's is a... going to faint. <laughs> well, yeah, well, we've got it playable. <laughs> but, <laughs> but at the end of the day, um, it is a pleasure to see this kind of continuing uh, vision come to form. And we're just great to be a part of that. And I know Joselito is sitting over there. He's very quiet, but he's been through everything from start to finish here. So I'll let you say something for him, okay? okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Godnier. Appreciate you being here this morning. Um, as Scott mentioned, Joselito Laxon is uh, the gentleman who we turn to when we're coordinating colors. Where he 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 answers all of my, my questions about what's going on. Are we oh, do we have a quagmire we need to fix, or is it okay? And how are we doing with DSA? And he he's the man with all the answers. Uh, Joselito, did you want to say anything? Or you're, he's waving me off too. All right. Um, I also want to introduce from Medallion Contracting and Construction. Our, uh, I was so excited to hear that Rick was being moved from Tropico to the high school. Not that I don't want Tropico to be a great project, and it's well on its way. And uh, the people over there who were left behind are doing a wonderful job. But I was happy to hear that Rick is coming over here for this high school cafeteria. So Rick Walker is... This guy's an important, these guys are important, let me tell you. If they don't like what they see, they're going to give us a, a thumbs down, which could be a problem. So, uh, Kurt, guys, did you want to come up and say anything? No? They're, they're a little shy, as you can see. How about Lloyd? Is Lloyd here? Oh, okay. All right. Um, and we have uh, Coldwell Floors of Winters, but I don't see Greg here this morning, so we'll, we'll move on. But they are very instrumental in helping Southern Kern get the financing we need for projects like this. So, so we want to say um, thank you to Coldwell Floors of Winters. And, and you've heard me refer to him as my right, my left hand, my left brain, my right brain, all parts of my brain. Uh, the man has more knowledge of Southern Kern, I truly believe. I, he has so much knowledge. The mere, the mere thought of him retiring, well, it just can't happen. It just can't happen, folks, because no one could possibly know where every little pipe and every little thing is on all campuses. But I can't say enough. I can't thank him enough. Uh, he's out here on Saturdays. He's out here on Sundays. Mr. Raleigh Davis. Raleigh, stand up, please. Raleigh is our director of grounds and maintenance and everything else that we throw at him Monday through Friday. And I, I noticed that I have some of my... Uh,
cabinet members here this morning and I'd like to um, just uh, introduce, I see our CBO, Mr. Robert Irving. Robert, stand up. Uh, one thing I can tell you about Robert, that Robert, um, he has gotten to the point where he may give me a dirty look if I might get too far out there, but they said it's okay unless he actually says that. Are you thinking so if he doesn't say that to me it's just a dirty look I'm good I'm gonna just keep going uh, but he keeps pretty close tabs on our finances thank you Robert for that uh, I just look at him and say can we and he's like yeah I think so we'll do this we'll do that so 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 glad to have someone who is so knowledgeable about the finances in this time that we have one two three four projects going on uh, also, I see our uh, our assistant superintendent of curriculum and instruction, Dr. Larry Mendez. Larry, would you stand up? Yeah, and I don't think I see anybody else at this time. So, um, yeah. So, I'd like to, we have some very special guests with us today, and I'd like to invite them up uh, to say a few words if they would like. And I'm going to begin with Anna Zarley from Assemblyman Tom Lackey's office, and uh, she is Tom's senior field rep. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for having me. Um, I have to tell you that, Superintendent Gaines, things have been moving and shaking since you showed up here in town, and we thank you for that. Um, the last time I was here, I believe, was for the student resource building, which was amazing. And I know how much you care about the students here in Kern County. So on behalf of Assemblyman Lackey, I'd like to read his sentiment on the certificate. Gotta put the old glasses on here. <laughs> and will I be presenting to you and the principal? Come on up. So this is in recognition of the cafeteria groundbreaking ceremony. It is my honor to congratulate you on the groundbreaking ceremony of the new cafeteria of the children. It's truly worthy recognition. I wish you continued success and growth in the new future. Congratulations. set to the school system here and the community as well. We've been working with her on the uh, AV uh, wall and so forth. And uh, so I want to congratulate you. You're really doing one heck of a good job here in this community. Thank you. Gosh, thank you, Jack. I appreciate that. Uh, next, I'd like to call on Mr. Brian Glennon from the Roseman Community Services District. Uh, I, I think there's a school we should think of the teachers, the classrooms, the teachers who take the place of the parents and are accountable to the parents. It is the heart and mind of the teachers that is passed on to the students that has made our mission great. The heart and the mind of the teachers, not the textbooks, the teachers that's passed on to our students that made our mission great. May we not stray from that foundation laid by our forefathers, the Constitution. And again, congratulations. Well said, Mr. Glennon. All right. And next is my pleasure to call on the pre president of the current historical, current Antelope Historical Society, Mrs. Gretchen Winfrey. One of the first people I met, my, I think it was my first or second week on the job, I was invited to a historical society meeting and dinner, and I got to hear her speak and speak, and I just came away in awe of all of this 
this woman's accomplishments. So, so glad to have her here this morning. Thank you very much. Uh, I told Barbara and Fran, who is also one of our historical society members, is going to be able to take pictures because I never know on my mobility issues just exactly what my day is going to be. But I am here today, and I wanted to to tell you, since I have been here for a long time, 59 years ago next month, there was another groundbreaking ceremony at this site. It was the groundbreaking ceremony for the existing high school. And it was the um, results of concerted effort by the members of the community to make this a unified school district. Prior to July 1 of 1962, we were not a unified school district. So all high school students had to be bused to Lancaster. And some of the parents in the community said, we want our high school students to be here. And so October 24, um, in 1964, there was a ground groundbreaking here for our new high school. And it was so huge. There was no way we were ever going to fill this high school. It was so big. <laughs> well, obviously, although we knew the town had the potential to grow, we didn't realize how much. And um, it is exciting. I was teaching here, and it was exciting to see this high school. So we are very, very pleased that Barbara has been so on top of things as far as keeping up with the phenomenal growth that we have in this community. Thank you so much, Ms. Winfrey. Uh, Fran, I know you're busy taking pick now. Fran's shaking you. Uh, is there anybody else in the audience or anyone who wants to come up and feels like they need to say something? Now would be the time. Anybody? No? Okay, then I, I want to say thank you so much to everybody who's here. And we'll now proceed to the actual groundbreaking uh, of this new beautiful cafeteria. Thank you.